the 19th season. It would be the longest suspension for an on-field incident in NFL history. When someone, you know, does something like that and attacks one of your players, or you know that that's just not supposed to be in the game. In a time where player safety is being emphasized, that is contrary to everything the NFL is right now. This breaks every code that 99.9 .9 of NFL players stand for. Ladies and gentlemen, my personal belief is that his career is over. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to First Take, coming to you live from above the Heineken River Deck at Pier 17. The infamous Vontez Burfik will be suspended for the rest of the 2019 season. He was punished for his helmet-to-helmet -helmet hit on Colts tight end Jack Doyle, and his tumultuous history has played a factor in this decision, being a repeat offender in this sense. Burfik's agent told ESPN's Josina Anderson that he is filing an appeal. Marcus Spears still here with us. Stephen A., let me ask you this. Do you think Burfick should be allowed to ever play in the NFL again? Well, my initial answer would be my initial answer would be yes, I think he should be suspended for the rest of the season. I have no problem with that. But when you talk about the, the remainder of the man's career, this being the largest on-field fine ever, um, that, that's real hard for me to sit up there and say somebody's career should be over uh, because of that. I think that deferring the Marcus, Ryan, guys that played in this league, I think it's more appropriate for them to take that position uh, as opposed to us. Let me, having said all of that, let me say this. Let me say this. Excuse me a second. Um, here's the deal. Lamont Smith is the agent for Vontez Perfect. He and I spoke on the phone last night. So everybody has a right to know that. He is going to appeal the suspension like he told our very own Josina Anderson. He and I were on the phone for about 45 minutes. His position is this. He has no problem. He understands that a, a penalty is automatic. He understands that a suspension is automatic. His issue is with the extent of the penalty. The fact that it's 12 games minimum, that it's the rest of the season minimum. That's where he has a problem with it. He is saying, you, you, if you look at our league, you're supposed to be looking at stuff in a vacuum. You're doing what the NFL is doing is they're going towards Vontez Burfick's history to say, because of your history, this hit that you just imposed on Jack Doyle, you got to go. He has a problem with that. He also has a problem with the league in John Runyon's statement, the VP of football operations for the NFL, stating that there were no mitigating circumstances. He emphatically disagrees with that. He says, if you look at the video, you see, because my position was, he launched at the guy. His position is, his arms were out in front, not just his head. And the guy was going down. And on top of it all, number 29 there, was also, when you talk about mitigating circumstances, the guy was trying to get up and move because nobody had touched him yet. So he's saying that it was a football play. And because it was a football play, with the guy trying to get up, and then you're going to hit him. His mentality is that it those two circumstances alone should be enough for the National Football League to look at it. If indeed you're exercising fairness and saying we're looking at this on a case by case basis, as opposed to piling on from the past yeah. to piggyback off of that to add to this incident and say that warrants you being suspended. That's his position. That's going to be the position of his appeal. And that's the perspective that they wanted out there. What's your By response? By the way, LaMarcus Joyner was the player. The name was LaMarcus Joyner. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. That's, that's perfect for his agent. And that, that, that in particular argument is a valid argument to what he's saying. Because you do want to individualize these situations. I'm going to tell you, Stephen A., and we were talking during the break, Max, the hardest thing for me to do as a player is to say another player sh doesn't deserve to play in the league anymore, right? And in this particular situation with Vontez Burfick, the only reason I say that is because I'm looking at the other side. We've seen him all try to break Cam Newton's ankle. Like, you, you can talk about that you don't want to include that as much as possible, but there's a history of incidents for a reason. There's a reason why all of the shows and everybody that's talking about this and the NFL came down so hard is because of the nature of the things he's done. Taking a tight end's knee out intentionally. 
he almost killed Antonio Brown right here, by the way. So, so to for what Lamont is saying, to isolate that situation, I 100% understand that. And for me, it's difficult to say that Vontez Perfect shouldn't be in the league. I don't think Vontez Perfect can adjust to what the new league is. Right, like I, I played in 05 when when some of these hits w- was just hits, and you get up and you play the next play. The crown of the helmet is the number one thing they talk about with head and neck injuries. That's number one. So whether you say he put his arms out or not, this is a crown. This is the example that they would use as the crown of your helmet making contact with another guy's head and neck area. That's the perfect example. The arm, we all see it. That still is a penalty. And because of Vontez Burfick history, the NFL came down and impended on this. And because of his history, I don't think he can play in the league anymore. I, I would say this to Vontez Burfick's agent. First of all, I would support his client playing in the league again. If after this year is over, he can demonstrate that he can control his impulses. Because to me, what's pretty clear is Vontez Burfick has an impulse control problem. That means it's not premeditated necessarily. But in that moment... He doesn't make the right choice. He gives in to the impulse. And the reason I say that, I go back. I wasn't going to bring it up again. I bring it up every time. But the Pittsburgh game told me everything I need to know. He'd already had a history of this stuff. Every talk show, everyone was talking about it. Is he going to do something stupid? Last play of the game. The graphic comes up on the screen if you're watching the game. Uh, Cincinnati, sorry, Pittsburgh needs 14 yards to be in field goal range. Play's over. Done. He gives him 15 yards on an infraction. 15 yards on an impulse. That, that tells me that's impulse. That's nothing your, your, your frontal lobes are doing. That's coming from a bad play, right? So he's got to demonstrate that. Then I'd let him play. But this is why I, I think it's unfair for his agent in this case to say they're not taking it in a vacuum. They're looking at his history. To what Marcus was saying, if the Riddler's coming out of the bank with the bag with the money sign on it, it's kind of tough for him to make the case I was making a withdrawal. You know, like we know what your history is. We know what. Yeah. So, like, yeah. when you launch at a guy and hit him like that to say, well, my arms were extended. No, they weren't back like this. Um, the guy was trying to get up. That may be true, but we've seen this 15 times from you already. Two nuggets of information y'all need to know before you go on, Molly. Number, The other thing Lamont Smith reminded me of is that he said Vontez Burfick did not have an incident in 2018. The entire season went by and he did not have one violation. He pointed that out to say, excuse me, this, there is a chance that this man can come and to do something right, okay? So he wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. But go ahead. Yeah, but then he had an incident in 2019. I My can't. thing is just, just 14 me. incidents. Like, we're stricter on children. I, Four times he was suspended. Ten times other incidents where he was fined. Over half a million dollars. I mean, what my, are we waiting? The, my, my the, the 16th my, incident, my line, it's all My over. line in the sand in this particular situation is there is a code in the NFL that you don't do the things Vontaze Burfick is doing. All right? Unwritten. It's understood. The players that receive this stuff, like what's, is it isolated to them or when they watch this, do they say, you don't think Juju remembered Vontaze Burfick when he cracked back on him when he was with Cincinnati? Like, they, I playing in that league as long as I did. He's doing things that you're not like you are jeopardizing the as as we talk about Vontez perfect livelihood and him not ever playing the league. That's exactly what's happening to these players. Well, let's also yeah. remember something about Lamont Smith, too. He just took there's another thing you reminded me of. He just took on Vontez perfect when Vontez perfect was in Cincinnati and they couldn't trade him. And then they let him go. Let him go. That was when Lamont Smith came on. It's not like he's well, I mean, been that's, that's fine. I understand that's Lamont right. Smith's business, right. but right. that doesn't mean that. That's it. But it's Molly, just, I want to respond to you. Yeah. That's why I think this the, the, he actually needs help. I think it's an impulse control issue. It's like a, an emotional issue. All the punishment in the world's not going to stop that. Like you're right, a rash, a person who didn't have okay, an impulse so control problem. Okay, so let's do problem. this. In, impulse control, and I don't yep. know much about it. I understand uh, your father's a shrink, so you're going to know much more. But say he needs to get help. Say it's yep. some type of disorder, right? Mm-hmm. So he needs to not play and get help. No doubt. Then that's, then that's the w- focus. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if he got help for it and demonstrated yeah. that that's gotten better. Then why shouldn't he be? Because saying, oh, he got a half million dollar fine. Obviously, none of that stuff works because it's right. not coming from a rational well, place. The last point I have to say is this. I know we got to go. This notion, and I said this to Lamont Smith last night, this notion that people forget what you did and you just get measured in a vacuum. There's no way not on earth. That does not apply in life. 
You are what you repeatedly do. And if you repeatedly do something, yeah. that's who you are it's, to it's, people. And Max's thing and, is and that it's he can't such a, it's such a hard go. position yes. as a guy that played in this league to say that. You're not but I'm thinking about the guys that are receiving that are on the other end of this. I'm not thinking about Vontaze's birthday. We got to go. Yeah. We got to go. Yeah. 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 And you're blowing yeah. kisses and laughing on yeah. the way up. That doesn't help. You don't want to miss what one NBA superstar says. LeBron and AD will take a backseat to the Lakers in L.A. That is coming up in a few minutes. Stay